Welcome back in, guys. Oh, we are right at the end, man. We can taste the end of what would be disc three. So let's jump in. All right. All right, gang, no more messing around. I know it's fun to dance and stuff like that, but let's take a look here. Man, we do have the new addition, the Moonstrike uh, for Dart. Got to debate whether or not I'm going to mess with many of these new additions. I mean, honestly, we haven't done very much of the addition thing because um, it's completely optional. If we look at the trophy list, it's not a requirement, but... It is still kind of, you know, it's pretty cool to mess with. Oh, man. Vel Web, guys. Here we are. We are knocking on the door. To the end of disc three. So I hope we are saddled up because we may very well be going into disc four on this episode, guys. Yeah. All right. Here we are at the capital city, Velweb. The Seven Towers. Is Diaz waiting for us somewhere in there? That is the Tower of the Seven Dragoons. The throne of the Holy Emperor is underneath there. Ooh. All right, all right. We are standing at the legendary place where humans began their liberation. I wonder if it is an abominable place as well. You think too much. <laughs> it's the same as Cadessa, isn't it? When you drag the past around, you can't walk anywhere. Dude, that was actually pretty well said. It is true, Miru. The forbidden land that was the royal capital of the Winglies. And this, Velweb, is a mere historic ruin. Yes. We can do nothing but settle for the present. All right, man. Let's do this thing. Welcome to Velweb, gang. Oh god, this place is huge. When is it? Oh, I wonder if this is like. You remember when we were watching those high res cutscenes? There were all kinds of big battles going down. Is that here? Is that in Velweb? Because that would be really cool. Hmm. Uh. All right, we got new dudes to battle, huh? New dude. Ooh, a Terminator, a witch, and another Terminator. Boom! Everyone who's anyone knows you gotta slap that witch or she'll bewitch you. Get it? <laughs> oh, she might have already done it. Oh, hang in there, boys. Dude. You're doing tons of damage to everybody, and I'm not appreciative of it. Well, except for Mirror, she's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> she don't give a hot tamale. Oh! <laughs> hey, sometimes you just gotta punch a witch, man. That's just it. You don't gotta be fancy with an addition or anything. You just gotta slap a witch sometimes. Wow! Okay. Get back in the mix. All right, nice. Gone. Yeah. Crushing and dancing, baby. Sweet. Oh, dude, Hashel's taking a bunch of damage in this fight here. Boom. Got a hammer spin. Maybe we will try some new additions. We'll see. Mm. Come here, boy. Dig that flurry of sticks. sticks yeah because we've already tried the cool boogie a few times with uh with miru we have yet to try the moon strike with dart 
And what's the uh, one with Hashal? The five ring, five moves? or some, Yeah, I think it's five rings. Let's mess around a little bit. Let's take a look. And if they suck, then we'll just not do them. Ooh. I kind of want to try that one. The SP for it's not great, but... 200 to start? That's going to be a powerhouse of a move DPS-wise. Like... All right, let's let's have a little fun. Let's see if we can actually do some of these additions. And if not, then we'll we'll cry, guys. I I'm not above crying. Oh, ooh, you see that? There's some merchants. What are you buying, stranger? It's a boy and his mate hanging out. Did I put the moonstrike on Dart? I may not have. We're gonna find out. Oh. Not a great start to a uh, new edition, that's for sure. Oh, balmy blazer. Okay, let's see. Oh, moon strike, nice. That was solid, that was good stuff. Tell your friends. Hey, no all out crap. Come on now. You doing the same thing? You better cut it out. All right, come on. Nice. Cool boogie. All right, hashtag, go smack that witch. Oh, oh, he threw a kick. That was cool. Uh-oh, she didn't think it was very cool. This is the trouble with uh, trying some new additions, though. It's susceptible to have longer battles. <laughs> Especially if we don't hit the basics. That moon strike was solid, though. Let's take him out. Oh, dang it. Almost. All right, come on, Hash. Oh, hold on. No, 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 no. Come on now. Oh, and I still missed that kick. I rewound out of it and everything. Boom. Cool boogie. Oh, don't, don't charge. Uh, nice. Maybe we should just have her do her thing. Come on, Hashel. God, no. I want to try to complete it at least once. Come on. Okay. Ah! We're going to try it again. <laughs> Come on. Oh, we almost had it, man. Oh, dude, we almost had it. All right, this is the last time. This is the last time. Dang it. Dang it. Oh, we probably should have the guys go back. This battles are going to take a little bit. Um, oh, man. And, oh, she got a new addition, even. <laughs> All right. Let's move the guys back to what works. Um, you know, the tried and true. I know, but it was worth a try. Um, now, we can have her. I'm all right with her trying new stuff because she has like 80 turns that she, you know, she can just do whatever she wants, but oh, that's frustrating. Ah. That's all right. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm only going to cry a little bit. Brother, there are no customers here. I'm not doubting your word, though. Don't worry. Believe me, there are always customers, even in this kind of place. Okay, I believe you, brother. Huh? You're right, brother. There are really customers. It's all due to the skills of my passionate merchant soul. You have to learn from this. 
I sell weapons, and I sell items. We're peddlers. It must be fated we would meet here. Why don't you take this chance to buy stuff? Let me thank you in advance. All right, hold on. Look at these guys. They can come spend your money. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh, 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 man. Okay, cool. Albert is armed. So maybe do... Oh, hang on. I thought I got Giganto armor. Ooh. 50% more SP, huh? Okay. Cool. Raises physical attack power and defense. A Giganto ring. Hmm. All right. Well, that's pretty good. It would drop Hashel's magic attack down. And then we're probably not putting it on Miru. Uh, I mean, we could, but yeah. Probably won't. Uh, why don't we hold off on that, actually? Oh, please buy something from that. Yeah, we. Uh, they were the dudes in the cold place, I'm sure. Hey, if you ever meet our brothers, say hi. We love our brothers. That's what just happened here. All right, let's buy some items. Okay, buy a healing breeze, of course. Dude, no, no throwables? Dog, I need some throwables. Come on. Like, what? what is this? Alright, Angel's Purifier, whatever, I guess, jeez. Whatever, oh my god. Alright. That's right, we were gonna, well, I think I already did, hold on. Yeah, we did. Hashel's back, and then Miru's gonna be trying an all new edition, Cat's Cradle. Cats in the cradle with Miru. She's gonna mess up anyone, you fool. Dad, look at that huge battery. That's a battery, huh? Humans shot huge arrows from there, aiming at the tower of Flanville. And back then, humans thought this way. Uh, the arrow would not only shear the darkness that covers the earth, but also shear their corrupted hearts, which were accustomed to being ruled. Why are you suddenly starting to say this? I don't know. I still cannot tell. But if we meet the guy who claims he is Diaz, I think we can find out the reason. I'm speaking nonsense again. Let's keep going. A hero from history is waiting for us. <laughs> All right, here we go. Rose, always ever the mysteries with Rose. She's always shenanigan and off. Ooh. Ooh. Don't flash at me. <gasps> oh, Shirley, I've been waiting for you. You are surely. Why? Why are you here? You ascended to heaven, I thought. Before that, I had something I had to take care of in here. Velweb. I couldn't leave the trapped souls alone in this world. Are you talking about... Yes, the four souls of the dragoons who lost their lives during the dragon campaign. Their souls were drawn to Mayfill, the gate of the inferno from which you can never return. It's requesting the souls of the dragoons. The Death City Mayfill. I thought it was destroyed. I don't know how, but it is true that the gate of the inferno is open. Rose, I made their souls inert and anchored them in this place. But there is a limit to my power. After you meet Diaz, please visit this place again and lead their souls to heaven. The souls of the dragoons are wandering somewhere in the towers. But we have to take care of something else now. Let's go find Diaz. 
Yeah, geez, Rose, get it together. <laughs> we weren't gonna go in there. Right? Ooh, look at that. It's just the one Terminator, actually. Yeah. Okay, gonna try the new addition. Well, we're not off to a great start. We didn't even get halfway done with it. It's a six-parter, baby. Let's try again. Damn, she's just bouncing around. Oh, did she stun him? She tried. Take that. Flurious sticks. <laughs> We're back, baby. Bum, 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 bum. I may have to go back to the hammer spin, guys. Hey, you can't say that an effort isn't at least fractionally being made. At least on Mirror's part. But, yeah, I mean... Yeah. What are you gonna do, right? Ooh, there's a big old tunnel over there. Hey, tunnel. Here I come. Do -do 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 oh, God, where's this... Is this from, this is from Emperor Dole's place, huh? Whoops. Oh, I bumped into my microphone. I was like, oh, what are you thinking, man? It's all right, it happens. Do, 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 do. Oh, now we got like some tank looking dudes, huh? I can, I can deal with that. Oh, gotta, gotta adjust you. There we go. Perf, that's much better. Sorry, gang, if you got any of that, which does happen sometimes. Check that. There we go. Oh, no, you didn't. No, which one was that? Crap. I don't think it was this one, but we should probably kill this one anyway. Gone. Crush dance. Oh, it was that one. Nice. I don't know what he stole, but he can go to heck. Ah! All right, I'll get it. I'll get it. You'll see. Once once I do it, once I get it fixed, Miru's gonna be busting out the cat's cradle. The hammer spin's looking really good right now, guys. Not gonna lie. Take that. Flurry of sticks. Okay. Get him, Dart. Yeah. Ooh. Activate that defense, and it didn't even matter, son. Crush dance. Get crushed while you dance. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it, and you guys, I want to do it at least once. I want to, okay? I just, I want to. That would be cool if I could just do it. Oh, but I can't. What happens if I fail? Wow, this is useless. Hello, door that goes nowhere. Boom, boom, doo 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 if there were other doors, but where does this way go? Ooh! Alright, here we go. Ro oh, Rose's hairband. Rose? You leaving your clothing around? I love that she always is like, Hmm, I'm alluding to the dragon campaign like I wasn't a part of it. And then you see a flashback and she's like, Yeah, yeah, me and all my homies are crushing everybody. It's like, girl, just be forward. Just tell us the truth. We're not gonna hate you for it. Just be forward. All right, cat's cradle time, guys. Here we go. Mm. Not that time. It, uh, it's next time. Sorry, spoilers. I can tell you. Okay. Get him hashtag. Take that. Yeah, that's right. You're dead. That's right. You're dead, man. All right, here we go. This is it. He cheated that time. That was it. Was, it was gonna be it, but I decided to give him a chance. Cause you know, I'm I'm a good sport. 
Uh, you stupid Terminator. Why did you go red? I was going to get it that time. Oh god, she's taking all kinds of damage too. And I just want to do the move. She's got 51 health left. Let's do it. No. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I almost had it. Okay. God. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Guys, I can't do it! <laughs> oh my god. I just want to do one cat's cradle move. That's it. One cat's cradle and a silver spoon. Okay? Oh my god. I'm gonna do it one time. One time, and then I'll switch to the hammer spin. That's fine. But I'm getting it off once. It's going to happen once, at least. Like, so, hopefully she doesn't die, cause it's coming, all right? Oh, nope, the stairs are broken. Can't go that way. Ooh. Shanna, dude, Shanna's here. Yeah, Shanna. Shanna. Diaz. Here are all three divine moon objects. Dart's just handing them over. There are no more obstacles to hinder our utopia. Release the girl. Fine. Diaz. What are you going to do with the Divine Moon objects? Didn't you hear it from Lloyd? My only desire is the advent of the last species. If you are the true Diaz, you should know what that implies. Total destruction. What? What do you? Lloyd, well done bringing me the moon gem, moon dagger, and moon mirror. Now we can let the Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, the last species we desire, the true Virage, arise. I will create the utopia you wanted after the Virage Embryo purges the world. Everything so far was an overture to that. Lloyd, he showed you a false utopia from the beginning. You deceived me. My utopia exists in the future of this world. What I desire is the creation of the future, not the destruction of this world. I don't need you anymore. Oh, man. Oh, dude, he straight tooled him. And look, he's taking full control of Lloyd. Oh, my Lanta. Lloyd's on his way down. Diaz, what are you thinking? I don't need to hide anymore. Dude, <laughs> Lloyd just got Gronk spiked down to hell. Shanna. Oh man, she's hurting. It's been a while. Rose. Dot. Ooh. Father? Is that my daddy?
I was gonna say, Z got stoned. What happened? Cannot be. Not the Ziegmeister. No. Not the Ziegler. Oh no. Whatever will we do, gang? Our daddy is the villain. A full Darth Vader. <laughs> We're gonna have to do crush dance on our dad. Hold on. Let me get my crap together, okay? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, I'm good. Is that really you, Dad? You died with Melbu Frama on each other's swords. Rose, what are you talking about? Now I can tell you everything. Ziegler. The beginning of the world was an absolute nothingness. Darkness. The creator sower sowed a seed to the earth. This is the plan of sower that created all species. The birth of the divine tree. Eventually, the fruit of the divine tree ripened and fell to the ground to fill the world with life. Ooh, shiny. Gigantos from the 97th fruit. Minitos, or um, yeah, Minintos from the 99th fruit. Dragons from the 105th fruit. Humans from the 106th fruit. Winglies with magic power from the 107th fruit. And at the end, the Virage embryo, the god of destruction, was to be born from the 108th fruit. So it desired the destruction and regeneration of the world by the Virage embryo. The god of destruction. However, 11,000 years ago, Winglies found out the tragedy waiting for them and sealed the 108th fruit by separating the flesh and soul. The flesh of the god, the flesh of the Virage embryo, was taken away from the Winglies as the moon that never sets that glows in the sky. And the soul of the god was captured in the crystal sphere, and Melbu Frama kept it. Yes, to withdraw unlimited magic power from that, and to conquer the other creatures. However, even with unlimited magic power, the domination was not eternal. Humans arose with dragoons in front. Nothing was their match because they obtained the power of the dragon. And finally, they drove Melbu Frama into a corner. I felt certain of human. My victory. And it was in the next moment, the spell of petrification cast by Melbu captured me. Certain of human victory? Mm -hmm. Something's up there. I have waited for 11,000 years. Time. Almost eternal, dissolved the spell of Melbu, and I was released from captivity. Days spent with Rose begin the eternal past. And I lived as the father of Jot in this age, until the tragic day neat. Mm. Zeke just dropping, dropping the emotion bomb, man. Trauma don't much, jeez. I cannot believe it. I am here. That is a fact. Then, both Dad and Rose are the heroes of the Dragon Campaign? Yes, but that's not all. Humans made a mistake. Silly humans destroyed the Crystal Sphere, which was the container of the soul along with the royal capital, Cadessa. The Virage Embryo, the god of destruction, was exultant. It could now be born. 
The free soul released from the crystal sphere started to wander in order to go back to the body left in the moon that never sets, to be born as the last god, and to destroy the world. The soul without a body possesses a human body and heads for the moon that never sets by repeating the transmigration every 108 years. You now know the soul of the god of destruction is the moon child. The truth of the moon child in the legend. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glares in red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. The holy blessing is the destruction. The destruction is Soa's will. This is the fate that rules the future of the world. But... There was one dragoon who found out about it. In order to deter the birth of the God of Destruction, she has had to kill the Moon Children by stopping her own time. She was even called a demon. That is the true self of Rose, the Black Monster. Oh, oh, oh. I knew it. Rose has... The Black Monster? I mean, of course I knew. I played this before, but it's still awesome, you guys. Oh, and she doesn't say anything. Tell me it's not true. The Moon Child has to be killed, and the people around it too, before they become the servants of the God of Destruction. Neat, too. For 11,000 years, there have been no exceptions. God! Why do you... Why do you have to be the black monster? That's it. What are you going to do? Let me tell you one more truth. Rose, you thought the Princess Luvia you killed 18 years ago was the Moon Child. But it is not true. <gasps> Luvia had a twin sister. <laughs> no. Shanna is the Moon Child. Shanna is the soul of the Virage Embryo, the God of Destruction. I'll dissolve the signet of the moon that never sets, and cross it with the moon child. Now, I have everything in my hands. Release Shanna! And are you going to kill her? To save the world? I'll kill her. Oh! Oh no, you won't. This is the limitation of humans. Zeke, you're a human, homie. Zeke, why? All is the will of the creator, Soa. My hands start the world, and my hands end the world. Yes, fate desires it. <laughs> Dad, wait! Ah, the blindness! Shanna! That is it, you guys. That wraps it for disc three. Boom! Chapter three, Fate and Soul. Guys. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, you know what? It's buried her. I was going to get the disc out. <laughs> I was ready, man. But we still have a little bit of time left. So we're going to move right on. Getting that Fate and Soul Trophy. Let's head on to disc four, baby. It's go time. Oh, my God, dude. We're almost there. Oh, 
Oh, that revelation is so cool, by the way. The, the Zeke thing with Dart and Rose finally getting that confirmation that she is the Black Monster. Oh my god. Chapter 4, Moon and Fate, guys. Oh. Oh, everyone's just looking at Rose right now. Well, I'm sure everyone's looking at Dart and Rose because Dart, he's, he's got to, like, if you punched Lloyd as hard as you punched Lloyd, you probably want to drop kick Rose with both feet, which is, I understand, like, dude, she killed, killed your parents. I'm totally beaten. We came all this way and we cannot go back. Yes, we did. No need to return. The city of Wingley's, Rose said, is just over there. What was it called? Ulara? I hope we can find out what we should do there. I hope so too. Oh, dude. <laughs> this, this tension between these two is real. It is real. They haven't said a word to each other yet, you guys. Oh my god. Okay. Um, I don't know where I'm going. But we're gonna go. Okay, not this way. Not that way. Alright. We gotta be- Oh! We gotta be careful because giant whales will jump on us. I am a whale. Oh, man. Dude, look at him, too. He is straight up a whale. Oh, crap. All right, hold on. We're gonna fix this. All right, let's get some rainbow breath going on. Let's get a free heal off because Miru has 50 health. Guys, we're on the final stretch. I mean, there's, make no mistake, there's still plenty of game left. But we're on what would be disc four. We got a handful of trophies left, baby. We just keep doing what we're doing, and, and this platinum's in the bag, man. We just gotta keep it up. Got a few optional battles ahead, but by and large, it's gonna be just business as usual. Uh. Get out of here, you weird, like, William Birkin ball face. It's got a bunch of eyeballs. Or are those, like, bullet holes? Did someone just shoot him? Pop, 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 Oh, come on. You gotta be quicker than that, you stupid thing. Did they say this was a beetle? This don't even look like a beetle. Looks like a giant ball face. Garbage. Okay, sandworm. Who looks more like a whale, but all right. Bam! Oh, dude, 600, Hashel. He's a crazy man. Okay. Ah! Dumb. Oh. That's fine, I guess. Uh, do, do, do. I will get a perfect one day. You guys will see. Yeah, you, well, you guys have already seen some of my perfects, so. Just use those as a cross reference, and any time that I fail, just be like, Devin, come on. <laughs> Obviously, that was a perfect, right? Obviously. Oh my god, he's about to jump on me again. That's garbage. Okay, we are switching Mirror's Edition around. I know, I know. Maybe in my spare time, I will get the cat's cradle, but not today. Dude, he jumped me right away. I'm gonna kill this dude. Man, the revelation that comes in there at the end of disc three. Like, I know I did attribute it to Star Wars because it is a very Star Wars trope that I am your father trope, but... 
it's still really cool when everything comes together and you find out like this is why this is why Shanna has that freaking power where she's just fragging dudes she's fragging barrages left and right and then Rose has an 18,000 year guilt fest where she has decided to basically take the higher ground and kill the moon child and all of those associated with it because she knows what comes next that is crazy no wonder she's like oh i smiled and was really surprised by it she hasn't had a reason to smile in eight thousand years mm. hammer spin I have reason to smile when I do a hammer spin on a guy. Oh, <laughs> pocket sand. Oh, dude, you can't do anything? Okay, whatever. We'll get rid of that buff, debuff really quick. Watch this. I'm gonna go punch him in the face with my hashtag. Hashtag face punch. Here we go. You ready? Oh yeah, that's right. It's not perfect, but it's punched right in the lizard mouth. Yeah. Ooh, a spirit potion. Uh, no. Nope. Nope. Don't need SP potions when one crush dance will get me the final burst that I need. <laughs> As though Dart is the only Dragoon, too. That's the way I talk about it. Okay. Let's see if we can figure this out here, because this is obviously a puzzle of sorts. Um... I feel like I'm going in a circle. Ah, not that way. Trash. Nope. I cannot. Ah, there's sand everywhere. Three sands. Don't go that way, obviously. Oh, never mind. Hold on. There's treasure up here. Ooh. Thank God the ground was not hot. Where is? Who could imagine there's such a place under the ground of the desert? It must be a cavity created when the water dried up. The world is going on without knowing anything. Without knowing until the end. I wonder if this little world has experienced an end like that. It's not determined yet that our world will end. That's true. We are still here. Oh, you cannot carry anymore. Okay. Hey, what about this? Can I... No, I can't get up there. Of course not. Why would I be able to get to that treasure? Oh, man. Now I'm all the way back out here. Great. This is gonna suck. I gotta figure this out now. Okay. Oh, hey, not that one. <laughs> Dude. By the time you could think about correcting, you just fall. Okay. <laughs> We're not going that way. We're gonna rewind. We are going to use our PS Plus buffs. Okay? I know a lot of people are... Pookie, you are just cheating. You are just cheating your way to the platinum. It is a resource they've given to me, and I'm sick of falling down sand traps. All right, so yeah, I'm going to use it. Okay, look out. Look out, look out, look out. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, no, I see it over there. All right, that's a dead end there. <laughs> oh, look at that. Cool, nice. That's what I'm talking about. That looks different. Hopefully different in a good way. Ah, no skeeter that's one big big skeeter like oh yeah water it's refreshing yeah it is I'm gonna heal with it you'll see here no monster we can rest now What will the Winglies in Ulara know? 
they should know the way we, or at least I, should take, so there is no need for you to come. Are you still saying that? Don't you understand it's no longer a problem for you alone? You just found out in a couple days ago, and now you think you can judge me. It is not as easy as pursuing one wingly. Oh, dude, Miranda just slapped her. You, you, you say that was easy? I agree. Lloyd was so slippery. He was made out of like eel paper, okay? If they converted eels into paper and you tried to hold said paper, that was Lloyd, okay? Don't be so conceited. Stop it. It won't lead us anywhere. What's up, Baba? Rose, nobody can understand the weight of fate you have carried, but we can at least lighten the burden for you. That's why we're going with you. Dude, for Dart to say that. <laughs> if you have the strength to argue, we can go on. <laughs> Dude, these two. These two, though. There is no other way, is there? Oh, dude, these two, man. I'm serious. Dart and Rose, that there is some tension there. Like, and I mean, come on, man. Like, both sides of the fence. Rose is doing what she needs to do. Like, what she genuinely believes needs to be done to stop the Moonchild so that the world won't get fragged, man. And there's Dart. Watching his hometown get annihilated as a child. Oh my god, there's so much to unpack with this, you guys. Like, here's the deal. It, it's one thing, you know, playing... Oh, come on now. Uh, I think I can get through that better. Um, there is a lot to unpack with that because, honestly, like, yes... Sure, Dart was a kid, but like, this is all he has known is fighting off the black monster, like, and, and getting revenge. Oh, look at that. There's another spring. Oh, I'm thirsty. <laughs> Good. Um, so like, it is, it is real finding out that this woman that he has trusted, boy, yeah, 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 sand is going to or, or has been rather not even going to she is the black monster she is it she is everything he's been seeking and even more so for rose like think about what she's dealing with in that she has heard nothing but dart saying i'm gonna i'm gonna get him i'm gonna get him like after my journey here's done dead to rights the black monster's mind the black monster's mind and now you oh god this is honestly i don't care if someone would consider that to be like simple writing or anything like that it's good writing it's good it's it sets up the right emotion for everything do you know what i mean the zeke thing ah uh. Zeke, Dart, Rose, it's all here, man. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Alara. Here we go. Looks like Wingleyville. Right, this is the uh this is the Wingley town. Ooh. Even if an adventurer is lucky enough to make it through the death frontier, nobody can proceed from here. Time was stopped for me 11,000 years ago with the spell of this choker. And this is the only way to see Olara, the spring breath town. Dude, she took an oath. But where is it? 
The only thing here is an endless desert. No, it's not. Hashel, I sense it. I sense people's feelings. Over there. <laughs> Dude, this game is so sick. Oh my god, it's on, man. We can fly over there with this. Are you afraid? I think you are. Maybe. We're standing by you. I know. Let's go. You can still feel the tension, but like there's some respect here. Dart is burying a hatchet. Like a, a really, really hard hatchet to bury. God, his whole world got shook. Welcome to Alara, the Spring Breath Town. I am the guard of the teleportation device, Karen. Karen, I'm a good friend of Rose's. Long time now see. Long time? Rose, you're starting to regain a sense of time, aren't you? No, not only that, you've recovered a lot of other things too. Are you the person who stopped time for Rose? No, it was Charles Frama. She is the person we have to meet now. Hmm. Brahma. Rose has been carrying the fate of the world all alone while shedding tears of blood. Can you go with Rose? Karen, stop it. I don't need to force them. I've already settled things with the black monster. The only thing left is that I have to complete this journey with my companions. Dude, if you understand that, I have nothing to say. Oh my god, that is some serious character growth, man. I, we have spent three discs with him going, I am going to kill, like I said it earlier, I'm going to kill the black monster. Going to do it, going down, he's dead. And look at him. Roses. I think Shanna would be happy to see them. It makes me relieved. I didn't know you liked flowers, Miranda. I guess there's some woman in you. Don't misread me. Roses make me puke. They're just flashy. They don't have any kindness in them. Do you know why roses have thorns? It is to bring out their own red using the blood of the people they hurt. They'll do anything for their own happiness. Wow, okay. Let's move on. I don't need to be here. So, uh, pro tip, no bouquet of roses for them. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hey, I know what that sound is. Ba -dum -ba -ba -ba. Ooh, these are filled with matted power weapon selling wingly. Oh, ooh, fairy sword. Th oh, thunder based attack. Uh, all right, all right, all right, cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. No, Dart loves his leather boots. Raise his magical attack power. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys, okay. So say we went off of the dancer's ring and went to a magic attack ring where she throws items all the time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh no, that was dart. That was dart. Crap, crap. Hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sorry, man. I straight up thought that was Miru. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on. Let's uh let's figure this out now. Because I actually like Dart living right there with the therapy ring. 
Oh, that dancer's ring is so worth it. Dude, <laughs> look, a 30 point bump. Okay, and her speed's down to 90. It went down a little bit. Oh, man. Can we put the dancer's ring on somebody else, though? Bum, 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 ba -da -ba. Oh, no, we cannot, apparently. Is that uh, just for the gals? Maybe it is. Because I do not see it. Uh, wow, that's kind of weird. Usually it's... Usually accessories are for everybody, but... That's all right. Honestly, because... That's kind of nice. The extra magic damage. Like, all right. Let's see what this guy's got beyond that. So. Increase. Oh, Sage's cloak. Okay. These are. Uh, all right. Yeah. Interesting. So attack evasion and magic evasion um, get increased a little bit. Not bad. Um. This is a deal. These, like, increases the escape rate of magical attacks. Like, if you have the cask, you do not need that. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll take it. <laughs> hey. Don't know what that was about. Apparently, one of my lights wanted to be like, bro, I'm done. Sometimes your lights just clock out. That's it. And there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> you just gotta be like, all right, homie. It's a good thing I got my other light. <laughs> all right. Here we go, man. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. I'm gonna say something because, yes, I'm well aware that I've played this game before. A lot of people have played this game before, but that doesn't mean that, like, you come back to it and there are things that just hate you, man. Miata, where is Charles? You're wondering because she would normally be taking care of these babies, right? Charles is preparing herself because, well, things we didn't tell you about, right? Zeke told you them, so... It must be about the moon signet. Tell me what you know. The signet is the signet sphere. The signet sphere is a sealing device that was created to be the last barrier, just in case the moon child reached the moon that never sets. Even my mistake was in your plan? You're really scary, people. <laughs> and that's coming from Rose. Even more scary is Zeeg. He's trying to destroy the Signet Sphere using the Divine Moon objects. Wait a minute. You made the Signet Sphere just because you were afraid of the birth of the God of Destruction? And why did you make tools that can destroy the Signet? Ask Charles. It was decided between the siblings. I will. Hmm. There's more brewing, guys. There's a whole lot more brewing. As we as we go along, there's more and more that keeps coming. That's literally Rose's edition. More and more. Oh, Rosie, darling. I've been waiting for you. I don't need your greetings. You know what I want to ask you. Oh, you are scary. But before that, can you introduce me to the son of dear Ziggy? <sighs> this is Dart. Doesn't he look just like our Ziggy? <sighs> but Rosie, honey, it's complicated. You have to fight with the son of someone who used to be your significant other. And furthermore, the enemy is the significant other. 
do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? Oh, sorry, honey. But I'm really concerned, so I'm intentionally making it happy and delightful so that you won't be depressed, Rosie, sweetheart. You have never changed. Charles, if you know, please tell us, where should we head to? Willie, you have the same eyes as Ziggy. I know, I have been waiting for you in order to tell you everything. Now, what would you like me to tell you? About the Signet Sphere. Ziggy is trying to break the Signet of the Moon that never sets with the magical power of the Divine Moon Objects. That Signet is the Signet Sphere. I am sorry that I didn't tell you about this. I have to apologize. I missed the moon child, Shanna. But you still have time. The signet of the moon that never sets is not broken yet. Where are the remaining signets? In the past, they were placed in five cities, but there are only three left. That's why they needed the same number of divine moon objects. What happened to the other two? One was destroyed in the royal capital, Cadessa, during the dragon campaign. And the other was lost when the divine dragon assaulted the crystal palace. Does this mean without the divine moon objects, the signet sphere can be destroyed? The Divine Moon Objects are just tools that conceal vast amounts of magic power. That's all. So in order to destroy the Signet Sphere, having the same amount of magic power as the Divine Moon Objects is sufficient. My dad knew about this and made Lloyd collect them. It doesn't seem like him, and it's so indirect. Plus, Something is strange. I wonder how Ziggy knows about the Signet Sphere. Not only that, he knew that Shanna is the Moon Child. About the moon that never sets. It's the 108th fruit that the Divine Tree dropped. It was conceived with the God of Destruction that ends the world. That's why we separated it into its soul and flesh, and sealed them away. My baby brother Melbu sealed the soul, which was the source of the magic power in the crystal sphere. But, um, when he fought with Ziggy, it was broken. Then the soul escaped from the crystal sphere, and started to transmigrate into a human body. Since then, it has been called the Moon Child. What is left in the sky is the moon that never sets. When the Moon Child goes back to the moon that never sets, the Virage Embryo, the God of Destruction, will be born. So we needed our Rosie to take on an important task. Please understand her. What about my father? Tell me about my father. You are concerned, aren't you? Why does he have to destroy the world? Sorry, but that is the one thing that I don't understand. But he was unmistakably Zieg. Zieg was the fiancé of Rosie. They crossed both swords and love. Just looking at them made me feel embarrassed. Stop right there. I want to talk alone with Zeke about our memories. I agree. Why did you make the divine moon objects that can break the signet sphere? That's right. If you were not planning to allow the Virage Embryo to be born, you wouldn't need them. 
I didn't want to, but my baby brother Melbu insisted. That is not an explanation, Cheryl. Oh, you are so uptight, but okay, I'll explain it to you. I told you that we sealed the soul of the Virage embryo in the crystal sphere, right? It is in order to draw lots of magical power and rule over other creatures. I wanted to make him stop being a dictator because even though we have different appearances or capabilities, we are the same. We should be able to live together on good terms. That's why I created the Signet Sphere, in order to weaken the magic power of the Crystal Sphere. Rose, without telling you that. The five Signets that protect the moon that never sets, restrain the magic power that flows from there. My operation was a big success, I thought. But Malbu found out about it and created the Divine Moon Objects. I guess he was prepared so that he could destroy the signets anytime he wanted to. Hmm. I get it. Where are the rest of the signet spheres? That's right. That is the most important information for you, isn't it? Because Ziggy has the Divine Moon objects and he can break the signets anytime. Listen carefully. The rest of the three signet spheres are located in the ancient cities. The names of the cities are the magical city Agil Aglis, Aglis, La City Zenebaros, and the death city Mayfil. Those cities are still alive. It's surprising, isn't it? Of course, they were badly damaged during the war. How do we get there? Go to Rogue, then your way will be open. You said Rogue? It's my hometown. See? It is already open, isn't it? Well, it'll be night soon. Why don't you go look around until tomorrow morning? <laughs> oh, man. There was a lot going on. Okay. Don't worry about me. Go take a walk in Allura at night. Oh, ow! <laughs> oh, Dart, darling. Are you going outside? Everybody left a little while ago. Well, yeah, I'm going outside. Rose just told me to go outside. I'm, I'm a good, obedient little Dart. Okay? It's what I do. All right. See what's going on. Now our way is opened. Shanna, I'll be here. I'll be there soon. <laughs> Sorry about that. Rose. You really forgive? Don't say anything. It's already in the past. Take your sword. Oh, dude, so they did. They did, too. You've become strong. You can take care of yourself. Kill me. Oh, dude, he thought about it. He straight up thought about it, you guys. Why? The black monster is dead now. We only have... a companion who is on the same road. <laughs> right on, Dart. Right on, man. Right on. Right on. 
I miss the time when you were chased by Fairbrand in the forest. Me too. God, it was so long ago, you guys. Woo! And I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. The creator Soa can recreate one at any time. But the people living there can accept it, believing it is fate or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. I told you, you are no longer alone, Rose. Dart. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. Nice. Oh my god. All right. We got Rose with us. Here is the deal, guys. We are. It's nighttime in Alara. We got to gather our party before venturing forth. But that is a tale for next time we are going to go ahead and wrap this one up my god the end of disc three was wild we got through a desert cross swords with rose vanquish the black monster man oh god everything was in this episode and we got got the chapter three trophy so there you go gang so we really did do everything Oh man, it is getting wild. This is a really well put together story. Honestly, it it really is. It's very, very cool. And I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. As always, gang, if you need to stay up to date with all things on my channel, you guys know what to do. Drop a like and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.